Hi everyone, welcome to Slim Chat. So yesterday there was no Slim Chat or a Rock Chat and I'm sorry about that because I did intend to do it. But um, we had so many errands to run yesterday and we started early and didn't get them all done and it took forever anyway. And then we got back and um, we had a delivery. Gary had trouble with his kitchen units. So yeah, the day just ran away. Um, also saw, <coughs> excuse me, Paul, Victoria and Harley, which was lovely, lovely to see him. And um, so they've got, I had some stuff to give them, stuff I'd made and stuff that was Victoria's from the, and had been at my other house. So that was good <coughs> as well, excuse me. Oh, first sip of tea. Ow. Do you ever swallow and it hurts all the way down? Um, not this swallow doesn't go right. That's what happened. <laughs> Weird. I know. So yeah. <clears throat> Slim chat. Got some news. Um I hadn't been losing a great deal of weight. I'd stuck, as you know, and I always say that. My body does the losing weight and then sort of shrink and then it loses a bit more weight and then it shrinks. So yesterday um, I weighed myself and I'd lost, yay. It was only a pound, but still, the one good thing about that pound is it took me beyond a milestone. And um, I don't know how, I mean, it's different across the pond. You weigh in pounds or kilograms or wherever you do wherever you come from but we weigh in stone and there's 14 pounds to a stone so we'll have a stone mark and say this was the scales and you've got all the little increments and then you've got the stone marker you lose weight and then you kind of stick by that stone and you can't get beyond it it's like a brick wall it just will not budge down to the next bit so you kind of keep looking at it and then you might go up a pound, down a pound. And it just fluctuates around that blessed pound. Um, just that stone, you know, that, that one little marker on the, on the scale. Then all of a sudden, doop, you go the other side. And I went the other side. It was great. It's like, yes. And I know it's, you know, it's like if you, if you weighed 10 stone. Suddenly, you're nine stone something. It sounds so much better. Might only be a pound, but you know, it's it's a good boost to <laughs> it's a good boost. And that happened yesterday. Yay! Might have only been a pound, but it was a good pound. So yeah, that was that. Um, dinner was rather late last night. I hate eating that late. That's one of the reasons I woke up so early and why I feel so groggy today because I didn't. Um, hate eating before bed really and it, it wasn't that long before it wasn't straight after like we didn't eat and then straight after go to bed it was there was hours but not enough but yesterday sat down <clears throat> and watched a bit of tv in the evening I mean it was late we didn't, obviously didn't want to go to bed on food so we watched um, the new formula one race to is it called? I don't know what it's called. But we watch it every year anyway. It's season three. And it's all about the last season of Formula One. Netflix follow them around and interview them throughout the season. And all the thrills and spills and ups and downs get put on camera. Race to succeed? I don't know. I really can't remember what it's called. Isn't that awful? Because I'm so tired. I only just woke up. And anyway, brilliant. I love it. And, um, yeah, there's a few people I don't like in it. It's like um, Christian Horner. I don't like him. I don't know why. I don't know if you're familiar with Formula One, but he, oh, Red Bull boss. Just something about him, like, just rubs me up the wrong way. And um, <laughs> I don't like his snidey attitude and I don't, 
like yeah it's <laughs> silly isn't it but um and he's married to jerry Halliwell. you know ex spice girl weren't my favorite spice girl either so that's all right <laughs> oh anyway it's like a little soap opera now but it's good to see the struggles for those drivers and the one, the young ones especially up and coming and the, the way they get dropped from a team and you know the little little victories when they've got little rivalries between the one they used to drive for and now they don't drive for them and you know it's good and the, we do love formula one it's a good program enjoy that so we've got stella on the go we're on the last season of stella so that'll be finished soon and that and because i was watching life on mars which is a program that i've always i loved it when it first came out and i haven't seen it since so i figured you know i've forgotten enough about that to watch it again and then the next one's ashes to ashes but um when i said to gary about it he said oh yeah i would watch that with you so I'm probably gonna have to start again with life on mars i don't mind so much but i think he'll enjoy it he didn't give it much um didn't give it any time when it first came out it's probably one of those times in life when you're bored you know and busy or bored with tv and you've got other things going on but yeah it's really good and he likes bowie so there's a lot of bowie music in it so he should really like it so anyway i've got no um foodie things to tell you today i have no idea i'm going to feel for the next few days um i have my jab got to go all the way to Chatham and get stabbed and uh, don't really know how it's going to affect me. I thought having had Covid that must mean then that if I have the jab I won't really get side effects but I kind of heard this thing on um, one of the programs that if you have had Covid you get worse symptoms with the jab. can't imagine it because it seems it should be the other way. It was a news programme as well. But whether he just said it wrong, or whether that's the truth, well, I'll find out in the fullness of time. And I'll let you know. So, yeah. Of course, there's all this, you know. I don't know which one I'm going to get. Probably AstraZeneca. So, and there's all that stuff in the press about that. But, you know... That's the one I wanted in the first place. So, uh, well, I'll say I'm going to get it. I don't know. Really don't till you get there. So anyway, I'm going to get off and I'm going to upload this because otherwise it will take forever. And they do take a long, long time sometimes. And I wanted to get it done nice and early so that I could get it on before we go out. Because otherwise, you know, if it doesn't upload in time, it'll be late. And this one will be early, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So, yeah, I actually felt really positive yesterday getting beyond that stone marker. I'm not telling you which one it is, because that just, well, top secret information. Anyway, stay safe, everyone. Take care, and I will see you on the next one. And I'm very soon going to do a cooking video because I made Gary that mushroom risotto and he absolutely loved it. And it was fairly Slimming World related. So, I mean, it's obviously no good for me unless I do it with the uh, miracle, ri uh, miracle Rice, which won't taste the same. But um, anyway, take care. I'll see you soon and I'll let you know um, how I feel. So wish me luck. Bye for now, everyone. <laughs>